assalamu alaikum mm. today you have to perform this experiment number 4 which is application of mosfet as an amplifier and logic mosfet is a very similar device uh, just like bjt it is a three terminal device you can see here but definitely it is based on field effect transistor so it has a different uh, part number it has different terminals source gate and drain but you have to use it in a very similar way the way that you have used bjt on to your breadboard and uh, do not make a sh be careful and uh, try to avoid any short circuit otherwise the device will be damaged so the objectives that you have to cover is to study the gate to drain voltage characteristic of mosfet by biasing into three different operating regions so this is just biasing then you need to go for uh, mm, common source amplifier and then you need to find the find out the voltage gain of that common source amplifier and then you need to use mosfet as a logic gate right so it is similar to what we have done um, with the simple diode as well right so let's begin with one by one so the component that you will be uh, using is a mosfet few resistances capacitors n mosfet and p mosfet so n type mosfet and p type mosfet and then function generator oscilloscope and power supply so how the device look like again it look like very similar to what we have for the BJT you can see it is very similar in dimension and very identical uh, physically but uh, definitely the terminals are changed so we have this package and we have gra uh, gate drain and source first you what you need to do you need to implement this circuit on your multi sim in which what you have to do you have to apply a biasing voltage of 5 volts at the uh, what we call it drain and at the gate uh, sorry at the source this is the drain and this is the gate so at the gate we have a, a variable voltage source initially when this variable voltage source is zero so the device will be in off state and you will find this all five volts available here when you slowly and gradually start moving this from 0 to 0.51 and onwards this device will start turning on the, and the current start passing through the channel so this v out 2 will start dropping so let's go back to the design and see how it looks like so this is your circuit that so now if i run the simulation for this you can see here we have 5 volts here and this voltage is dropped to 520 millivolts although this voltage is 10 now what i am going to do is that i am just going to make its value 0 okay. and now i will run this simulation again now you can see this is 0 and the whole the device is in off state and the whole voltage that is coming from this source is available here take another case for example uh, make this value two. and uh, run the simulation still the device is in off state it is not turning on make it five The device is on and the voltage is dropped to this so this is a simple switch operation for this circuit right so this is the first thing that you have to do in simulation and in the lab as well now moving on to the second circuit these all are the values that you have to fill v1 you need to put three values right and then you need to uh, fill out the missing ones now here in this circuit what uh, is 
then with a DC source there is a AC signal as well because this DC source will be needed to turn on this and then this AC so signal will be available at the output as a amplified signal and you need to calculate V in V in you know what you are providing V out you will get from the oscilloscope you can calculate V out over V in simply by using this uh, right so now let's move on to second circuit and see how it look like so this is the second circuit here you can see here we have this source and then signal generator function generator and then we have the oscilloscope when we run the simulation you can see here it is a bit amplified how you can say that it if it is amplified or not you can see here this is 200 millivolts this is 500 millivolts this is your input signal which is in red color so which is approximately around one box while this is 500 millivolts which is your output signal and it is taking one two and three boxes almost so this is a bit amplified also similar to uh, what we have for uh, common emitter amplifier you can see this signal is also out of phase so uh, both of them they have this common characteristic of 180 degree phase shift right so this is your second circuit and uh, this is your third circuit run the simulation and here again I think the frequency is very low yes so make it 100 thousand kilohertz and you can see it is very much amplified at the output so and it is also clipped as well because the input voltage is also very high so let's make it 10 millivolts or 100 millivolts let's say It has a very good voltage gain. So this is your circuit, third circuit that you have to perform, which is this one, right? So these three circuits you have to perform for um, characteristic and amplification, and then this is the last one, um, which is comprising of four MOSFETs this is the circuit where you need two p mos and two n mos two p type mosfets two n type mosfets so if you don't have uh, both of them uh, or both types in the lab you cannot perform it so you have to rely on the uh, simulation uh, again you have this table to fill zero zero what is the output five zero what is the output zero five what is the output five five what is the output in principle you will be using three uh, voltage sources one to power up all of these devices and two to control the inputs which are labeled as a and b so when you keep them zero zero that means uh, this voltage source will be zero and this voltage source will be zero while this will be five and at this point where this q one is mentioned and this v is mentioned here you need to uh, check the V out right so you need to provide 0 0 that means 0 volts 0 volts then 0 and 5 volts then 5 volts and 0 volts and the last 5 volts and 5 volts and every time you need to check the V out across this uh, terminal which is V here uh, and it is labeled as Q1 Q1 means this is transistor 1 Q2 means this is transistor 2 these two are in connected in parallel and q3 q4 they are connected in series right so 
this is uh, what you have to do and then you need to fill this table so in this way you will complete this whole experiment i hope uh, this will help you understand and implement the circuit and if there is something uh, which is not clear so you can ask me right so we can stop this simulation so this is our first circuit about the switching then second circuit about the uh, one amplifier type and another circuit for another amplifier type which is feedback you can see here this transistor is connected from this point to this point right so which is uh, something new uh, so you need to be careful while connecting this resistance from uh, source to the gate right this and also this is one mega ohms resistance which is quite large and it is available in the lab so that's all from simulation ex and uh, explanation the rest you need to do in the uh, on the hardware in the lab